Africa Sportsman Show. We're standing here in the middle of the Karua, small town called Kradok. We've been invited by Marlow Landbow School to come and have a lekker hunt here with the guys here in the Karua Kopis. We're looking to hunt a few animals this week. We have invited our good friends from Zeiss to join us on the hunt. A little bit later about the, the gear they brought with on the shooting range. A couple of things happening this week. Um, part of the hunt, we, we're busy with a, with a whole marketing exercise for Marlow. They have a huge auction in February next year. That, uh, that, is, that is, you know, all the funds going back into the school and back into the community. And then obviously everything we're hunting this week uh, is going to our Help Yach organization that, uh, that, uh, that provides meat for, for people in need. So that's basically in a nutshell what we're doing here. We're heading off to the shooting range and then we're off hunting. We're hunting on the school property. They have about a, a 3,000, 3,500 hectares property here with some game animals on. So we're going to have a ball of a time. See you on the shooting range. Um, busy sighting in the 764 of mine. 16. Yeah, welcome to the show, guys. This is Hello. this is Divan. This is the V4 and the 4 to 16, eh? Yes. This is one of the products we brought along. Around my neck is the is the is the Victory RF. This is the the range finding bino that Zeiss have. You also brought one of those 1032s that I used on that Nyala hunt. And then on your on your blazer on your on your XC, you've got the V6, eh? I think it's one of the coolest scopes to have on a hunting. Competition, competition shooting combination especially for something like springbok we're in the heart of the karua so you quite sighted in we're just going to double check this is a brand new scope we put on the 764 we're going to use your your 6x here i also brought my 6x here along but yeah that's the plan that's the gear we brought from the ice thanks for organizing everything let's get it on the paper So uh, Divan is busy setting up. Divan is shooting um, normal factory ammo. It's unbelievably accurate, this factory ammo. We've tested it in a couple of, of different XEs. This is a stock standard blazer of the shelf. It's an unbelievable combination. He's got the custom stock on with his eyes, as we explained. What Divan will be aiming for is to zero at 100. With this, with this ballistic turret of him, he'll be able to adjust whether the animal is at 200, 250, 300, whatever the case may be. So Divan, you'll be zeroing at 100, right? Eh? Here's everybody with a muzzle brake. Okay, Divan, so we're ready to, to rock and roll, eh? Yeah, you sighted in at 100 with your XE. A couple of animals needs to be taken down. There's good three hours of daylight left, so... And we have the whole day tomorrow, so let's see what we can get this afternoon. You ready? Yep, fire it. moist. Van die mooiste dele hier zo, hier is kijk hoe mooi die diepe zit die af. Voor het werk aan die oor, oorkant, die oud denk altijd die karo is plat, tot die bykie hier binnen kom speel in die gaten. Ongelooflik mooi. We've just spotted a, a mountain reedbuck. He walked down, he stopped behind that, that bush there, that thorn bush. Yeah, there were the red rock stars. Obviously standing in the shade, so just just give him a minute or so, and if he comes out, he's at 273, okay? Hoor he? Is daar rommelkie? Of kan mens ruikte daar, hy kan afstap op. 265. Three yes, Divan. I thought the conditions were going to get a little bit better. The sun is setting. Um, it's almost 6:30 in the afternoon. The wind is still blowing. You almost got a chance on that springbok. It was two nice rams. It was quite cool seeing them fight all the time. Yeah, yeah. But listen, great shooting earlier on that, on that uh, mountain mountain reedbuck to save some time. Um, we sent the recovery team in, so hopefully that's back at the skidding shed already. And I think that's it for the afternoon. Um, don't want to make a mistake now at this late stage. So we'll come back early tomorrow morning, get a good night's rest, have a lack of braai with the guys here at Marlow Landbow School. And 
We'll see each other tomorrow morning again. Well, a very good morning to you all, Divan. Um, the wind is a little bit, a little bit calmer this morning than uh, than uh, we, uh, when we left yesterday afternoon. We're going to try a different approach this morning. There's some there's some springbok in this area. There's some uh, impala eels that's that's on the menu. There's some um, there's some fallow deer. There's the odd kudu, um, and um, yeah, we, we're going to look to we, we're going to be three guys in the field. You're going to be sitting on this copy. I'm going to continue with a with a land cruiser to the next spot. Bibi is also going to you know uh, sit also further down this road, and then we're going to give it an hour or two and uh, see what we can get. So you. You ready with your XC, eh? Thanks. Good luck. Shoot straight. Oh, yes. <laughs> right on. Right, so uh, we're heading to this small. Um, I don't know, you can't actually call it a copy key, but yeah, we're heading to, to this. Divan is about three, four hundred yards this way. I think Marnus is going to drop Bibi another three, four hundred yards this way, and then hopefully the guys can uh, can push one or two animals out for us to take down. Just heard a shot from Devon's side. Hopefully, he got a springbok. There was a couple of springbok running past us, but they they stood still there where he was. He, we just heard the shot. Um, I'm using my XC this morning, also shooting the same Norma Diamond Line factory ammo, the same as Devon is using. So, um, yeah, hopefully, we can get a shot in the springbok. Down. <laughs> Two down, they're lying next to each other, so we'll just wait for the other guys. I think we're done in this camp. Um, successful morning. Sounds like six spring up down. Okay, we're done. Devon, successful morning. Tell us about your uh, your two spring buckets you got. I have two ewes for this morning. One was on about 150 meters and the other one on about 180. So luckily, luckily close. Yeah. And then wind was not that bad as, as yesterday. Yeah, no. Picking up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. And it's something different than thinking in summertime. Yeah. For sit down yeah, like yeah. this. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, so I think definitely the next move, getting these uh, few springbok back to the skinning shed, getting them in the cold room so we can deliver them to where they need to go. And it sounds like the guys have a plan maybe for a, for a, for a fellow, fellow deal or two. So okay. that's the next move. You ready? Thanks. <laughs> we spotted a couple of uh, fallow deer females. It looked like about six or seven. They disappeared into behind this little copy. The wind is perfect. Let's just walk around the copy slowly. Maybe you can get a shot. Okay. Spotted that herd of you. 
shadows. They disappeared into this thicket. But they were moving from our left to right. So we're just hanging here for a little bit. Maybe they come out. Devan can get a shot. Well done, Devan. Well done. I don't think a fellow there on foot in the summertime not that easy as we thought, eh? <laughs> yep. Great shot, Ivan. Well done, well done. Yeah, I think this is it, eh? It's getting warm. Ivan, congratulations. Good shooting. Um, persistence paid off. <laughs> it was quite a, quite a morning behind these fellows. Yeah, no, for sure. Listen, a big shout out to the guys here at uh, Marlow Landbow School. Thanks for inviting us. Thanks for this great initiative, you know, getting some meat together. It is tough times all over, but, uh, you know, getting some meat onto a plate for somebody that, that really needs it. It's always, always nice to be part of an initiative like that. The Help Yach initiative, not only back home in Pretoria, but countrywide. Um, it's, it's, it's really a big part of what we, what we do and we love doing it. Remember the big auction next year, the 18th of February. 2022 um, we'll be we'll be definitely here Zeiss will be coming back with us um, thanks for having us here guys thanks for watching the show we'll see you next time Shh.